welcome back guys to code like ice so this is our next video on the python export on our data table and using python to handle large data exports so the last time we 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 met here this is what we did remember we seeded our data table with over a thousand records then what we did was to to try an export so we did that and had this response this page isn't working look at who is currently unable to handle this request so for large data set in order not to put so much stress on the web server or the the php if you are using nginx the php fpm or the memory load and all that i recommend that we use python to handle the export to handle the export so today what we are going to do is to go into our python code write the code to the moment and we're gonna add an event to this excel button here such that when you click it will redirect you to a route and a route will trigger a python script from the command line then your file gets downloaded and we're going to use delete after download the laravel, laravel function yeah so first of all let's generate our route let's link this excel link button here we're going to override it that when you click on this button it is not going to do this thing this loading not trying to dump it to an excel file we're going to override it and use either we create our own extra button or we um, or we use uh, we, we, we link it to a route okay so we go into a code so we have our audit trail data table and we have these buttons and um, if you are using the latest one of the latest versions of the Yajra data tables this is how you define the buttons buttons make if you come to the columns okay so I didn't touch the columns so I have here button make so we have print research so i will not need uh, for the purpose of this tutorial let me just comment them out so not, not really use them so should leave it up with the excel so in order to override let me say window Some particular method and you call on the data table the action submit mm, action close or action so you have your action here as window.location window.location so this is just that when a button is clicked we are overriding the default action so we see we need a location somewhere the dot location so uh, we are going to define so this is what we are going to do we are going to define a route that when a route is hit or when you access that route it goes to a controller and the controller now picks the parameters and trigger the python script so let's first define our route first then whatever routes we define are going to replace it here so for now let's put in the dashboard the index so we have here route dashboard the index let's reload and let's see what happens we put in an undefined route it's supposed to true yeah that's route not defined okay so it's being recognized now so if i click because we are not on the same page, I'm expected to be redirected. Yeah, okay, that's what is happening. So come back or the trees. Okay, so now let's go and create our route. It's an existing project. So let me just if you're using PHP Storm, all you need to do is to type command D to duplicate any route. So audit. Let's give it any name audit.export then let me say which this controller is called in which controller public function okay it's called in that main controller as so i pick it come to yeah yeah there's this plugin called laravel idea that allows you to open your controllers and your controller the functions inside the routes it allows you to open them at a yes guys mark 
or you are just using windows and you on the mac just press command then it highlight the controllers for you and you click on it to open it for you yeah so this is the name of the package uh, the plugin idea this is it okay so unfortunately it's a paid one <laughs> it's a paid service it's a paid plugin you need to pay for it and i was using the free version so mine will expire in three days time three days time yes yeah, so, so that's the package i'm using yeah. so just back to the web okay so admin controller and just say export export let me give it another function of export yeah I'll do that. so I'll just go to my admin controller let me create my function to export let me just duplicate any of the already existing function export so this DD hello save come to our audits.export we pick the route name we go to our audit real data table um, where does it we replace the route here so let's refresh so on click I'm supposed to get a hello in the browser like a die dump of the word keyword hello that is it and this is the route has been redirected yeah so the next thing to do here is to implement the code for the shell execution of our Python script. So let's do this in admin controller. We will first declare a variable called path. Um, let's say to be the path to the Python script. Then you will say um, what do we? We say shell. Zek, right? Shell is Zek. Shell is Zek. We have our command. So let me say define this one. Command CMD. CMD is equal to something. And then we have path. So the CMD will come here. Say name. Just say name. Because in our Python script, what we are going to do is that once the Python script has executed, it will return the name of the file. To return the name of the file. To return the name of the file. So once the file name is returned, we will assign it to this variable. To be return in each function, assign it to this variable. Then per, it, the the name of the file. Return is it's going to be an absolute path to the file. It's going to be an absolute absolute path to the file. Then we use the Laravel download to download the file because we now have the absolute path. So we will say um, return response the download uh, return response download the download. Yeah, okay. So download so this name here. Okay, let me say name. Let me just say file. File part. File part. The expectation is that our Python script would have download the um, grab the data from the DB, written it to a, um, an Excel sheet or an Excel file, CSV file somewhere, and stored it. Now, once that's done, we just return the part to the file. We just say return response download. Then we say it deletes after send. Yeah, delete after send. Uh, delete after send. So once we download it, just delete it so that the server space you can have enough space on the server to handle any other form of export. So basically, that is it. We are halfway through. So the next part is to go into our Python script. So I created a folder here in my app directory. You can create a file at anywhere at any part of your project anywhere. It can be on your local machine wherever you, you, you want. So you have your have my app directory. Inside my app I have a folder called so you can give it any name. So it's an empty folder called exports. That's a file called connection.py. So this file is blank and I would love to open this folder in PyCharm. 
rather so can give me a feel of my python environment using the id so let me just minimize where's my call my python all right so we have our yeah php star admission app snake here already open there's nothing in this 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 file will, this folder will be created by the um based on the id you are using i think it will be created by python itself or the the intellij i'm sorry the pycham id you are using so yes yeah, so first of all let's set up our connections our connections So um, we are going to declare variable say admission 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 which is going to be equal to mysql dot um, connector let's call connector dot uh, connect Just open the final, the final parameters which picks host to pick your host. Let me duplicate it. So, here, of course, we have a user, we specify the port. If you're not using the default port, up as wd and you have your specify your database specify your the type of authentication so host you say look my this error let me see the format file okay so we have local host User root of my port 3306 pass wd lc xxxx it's my password then it is it about the database name is called admission so you can use your own database yeah. so here we have my sql let's call native password let's go and let's call native password all right so we have our so yeah so we have our my score connector setup so we'll end here and continue in the next video where we are going to call this particular connection in another file then based on the connection that you've created we write our sql query to do the necessary dump thank you guys for watching see you in the next video